some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, hello and welcome back to the channel. In today's video... Good morning, everyone that's going to join this. I'm at Chase Bank right now. They put a hold overnight on my money. Luckily, I, a man, am smarter than their corporation, fictitious dead corporation, and I moved all my money out. They put a hold on $131, so they can suck that right out of the gate. All right? I am very excited for this because I get to uphold law, and I get to teach and educate other human beings about law. Okay, so you're going to go into this bank and get yourself arrested for some sovereign citizen stupidity. Okay, then let's go ahead and sit back, relax, and enjoy this upcoming shit show. All right, let's get this audio going. I'm walking in right now. Oh, let's flip the camera around as well. All right, let's start audio. Good morning. I, I woke up this morning and uh, this corporation put a hold on my money, theft under law. Already you're off to a bad start, dude. That's not theft. That's just putting a hold on your account, which banks can and will do for a myriad of reasons. For instance, in a case I had, somebody stole money out of my bank account. The bank saw the unusual uh, charges and put a hold on my account so nobody else could do the same thing, and I ended up getting the money back. So just walking into the bank and outright accusing them of theft is not exactly the best way to start out your conversation with them. Understood? They said theft under law? It is theft under law. You took my money. Who is he? He's an asshole, sir. I know that. What's his name? That is his name, sir. Asshole. Major asshole. Yeah, well, you better get ready. They're going to learn, too. I'm excited. I get to educate humans on the law. You're not interested. Oh, look at that. Take that as the record. You're not interested in law. Are you recording? I am recording and audio. Yes, I am. Yes, I am. Lawful. Let's go. Under the Constitution, United States of America, freedom of the press. Hey, douchebag. Freedom of the press means that the government can't interfere with the publishing of your story. It doesn't mean you can just walk into any private business and start recording. For a man that's supposedly educated on the law, you certainly don't know that. Now, do you? This is the truth. You guys see all this? There's so many people on Facebook right now. You understand thousands of people follow me? <laughs> They're all watching you right now. Good. I hope so. I'd like to talk to the head. Is this the head banker? No? Yes? Who are you on the phone with? The sheriff? You know, you don't have to wear those masks. It's a mandate, which is not a law. You understand that? You're breathing in recycled air. Oh, gee, the law expert is now trying to be a medical expert. Um, why don't you try telling that to uh, the doctors who use them every day when they are in the operating theaters? I mean, they could use that beneficial information that you spew out of your gutter hole. Look, hiding over there. She won't even show her face. <laughs> yes, it's called theft by law. Theft. Oh, look, you have a customer. How come you're not helping your customer? That's under your legal definitions, under your corporation job. I think that was the head banker. Was that the head banker? What are you, what are you doing back there? Oh, he's just doing things that you'll never be able to understand. Things such as, oh, doing complicated math and being able to hold a job for more than five minutes. Is the sheriff on his way? Oh, that is the head banker, isn't it? Are you the head banker, sir? Trespassing. You need to leave. Nope. Trespassing. Notice her words. Trespassing. Totally different than trespass. <laughs> 
oh, wow, I think he's laughing at his own stupidity because, you know, what you just said was complete stupidity considering trespass and trespassing are essentially the same damn word and same meaning, you freaking idiot. Trespassing, not law. <laughs> Theft, law, law. Oh look, you're helping this customer? But not me. Help the sheep, but when the lion demands notice and remedy, there is no remedy to be found in the United States of America, is there? <laughs> I'll take to the, all the way to the Supreme Court if I have to. I know all the laws. You all will fail. You will lose. Yeah, good luck with that. I'm sure you'll be laughed out of the local courts, let alone make it to the Supreme Court. Many, many minutes later. They stole my property. Let's talk about it outside. I do not it. lawfully have to. Well, here, here's the thing, okay? So this, even though it's a bank, right? It's mm -hmm. still private property. So if somebody Is this the United you, States of America, Is this sir? the United States of America? Do you, let me ask you this. Do you have a, a home that you live in? I do. Okay. If I showed up to your house and didn't want to leave, would that be wrong? Okay, there's two definitions here, all right? And there's very big difference. I want you guys all to notice. This is a very big difference, and you're being recorded uh -huh. That's fine. on video and That's cool. audio. Just letting you know. Okay. Putting it out there. All right, there's a very big definition difference between private and public, okay? See, see this thing is still a private business. This is a corporation, is it not? Mm-hmm which makes it public by law. But it's still the, the, the Supreme property, Court will the uphold everything I'm telling you guys right now. Citation needed, please, because I used to work for a corporation, and one thing that they used to stress is that it is a private company open to the public, which means they can and they will trespass you. No ifs, ands, or a but soft hard. Here, you gotta go. Simple as that. That is incorrect and unlawful. Okay. I'm speaking respectfully. You are. I have you're not. But you're, but you're I have not committed a crime okay. against any Sorry. one man or woman. Do you understand that? Those are very important senses. But now that the the property manager is asking you to leave and you're not leaving, okay? So and now, I have not gotten remedy, have I? Okay. They took my, they theft. That, they have committed a crime. Here's the thing. They have committed a crime. That will be a civil issue you can sort out. A civil later. issue? Mm -hmm. With the business, you can have a civil issue there, okay? <clears throat> but right now, you are being right now, to leave. They don't want you here. I do not so lawfully law. have to leave. No, actually, see, here's the thing. Actually, you do. That's what law? Thing. I'd like the law. You're now trespassing. They I would like. want you here. Trespassing mm -hmm. is not a law. The word trespass is law. Do you guys understand that? You don't even know the law. What you just said is one of the most insanely idiotic things I have ever heard. At no point in your rambling, incoherent response were you even close to anything that could be considered a rational thought. Everyone in this room is now dumber for having listened to it. God have mercy on your soul. Is your supervisor on the way? Yeah. I want to speak to your... Yeah. Where is the sheriff? The, the sheriff doesn't respond to this. This is actually we're in the operation. The sheriff lawfully has yeah. to respond yeah. to this. I don't think you guys understand the well, Constitution. The yeah, I take it you haven't actually read the Constitution, because if you had, I you would notice that there's no mention of how to organize a police force. This is the city limits of Valparaiso. So city, we have jurisdiction. You're familiar with jurisdiction. Jurisdiction, very right. Yes, indeed. The sheriff. Uh huh. What is the jurisdiction of this land, the United States of America? You can this call it this, whatever yeah. fictitious corporation the names States, you want. The state of Indiana. In that state, we're in Porter County. We're in the and United in the county, States. We're in the city of Valparaiso. That's why the city of Valparaiso Police Department is here. And well, I'm with you, man. I, I, I'm trying to work with you here, but I think there's a little bit of confusion. I know you say you know stuff, but I'm just trying to straighten things out. The sheriff's not going to I've studied all this for hours okay. and hours. How many hours would you say that you studied uh, 
per se, one, two, or three? And how about an actual lawyer who would have done it for uh, years on end? A uh, bare minimum of two years and some for upwards of eight years? Okay, so I guess we have a uh, sovereign citizen who's definitely suffering from the Dunning-Kruger effect because he's acquired just enough knowledge to think that he knows everything on the topic. I mean, this is a classic example of that. This is why I'm here, and this is why I'm happy to do this, because I now have a duty to explain, yeah. and I have a duty to educate you guys. Because you guys are fellow man. This is why our country is where we're, this is why the world is why we're where we're at right now. Because nobody knows this stuff. I do. I have a duty to explain this, elaborate, and educate fellow man. I man. Small, lowercase i. Are you stupid or something? Oh man, I can't wait to read all these comments. Yes, all over $131. I know. Do you see this? you see what's going to happen? Did you notice what she said when I got here? She said, I don't care about the law. Do you notice that? Let me, that's paraphrasing. I don't know exactly the words that she stated. She says, I do not care about law. That's what she said. Liar! Video may not lie, but people certainly do. So here's what she actually said, according to your own video. I, f I hope you're here to understand. You're not here to understand law. Is that what you just said? We're not. We're not here to understand law. We're here to do our job. Where's the sheriff or your supervisor? He's coming. Okay. Okay. Thank you. You're apologizing for law. I'm not going to do you a favor. I don't have to by law. I'm just asking as a as a man. Thank you, but I will not. I respectfully refuse. And that is my right under law to do so. Notice the words that I'm using. Thank you. I appreciate all of you guys too. I appreciate you. You see this? You see what's going on? When facts and law are stated, they called the cops. No, clearly you're lying. But your video tells an entirely different story, so maybe you should fire your cameraman. Oh wait, that's you. Here's the actual exchange where you told them, please call the police on me. It's law. You don't, I don't have to. Call the sheriff, please. I would like the sheriff that upholds law. Thank you. You guys like this stuff? Let me get a fit check. I'm just wearing, uh, oh look, someone probably, the government, corporation's calling me right now trying to interrupt this stream. Not gonna happen. You guys wanna see what I'm wearing right now? I'm just wearing a coat and jeans. Oh great, now Webster's Dictionary has a picture of you so they can put it alongside the word dumbass. Dumbass! You dumbass! You're a dumbass! Such a dumbass! You're an ass! All right, so his title is? Lieutenant. Lieutenant. Which means what? Above you guys? Yep. Boss? Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, he's chief. Okay. Chief, chief of chief. Valparaiso? Yes, but he's well, hopefully he knows law. I doubt it, but we'll see. <clears throat> I have the United States Constitution. Bill of Rights and Declaration of Independence in my pocket, if any of you need to see clearly stated as well. Well now, that pretty much confirms what I've suspected about you, that you have never even bothered to read the Constitution to begin with, considering that the first ten amendments are the Bill of Rights, you fucking moron. Let me find out more. Thank you very much, sir. I respect that. Why am I not being talked to? We gotta whisper and do corporation legal bullshit. Notice I said legal. Legal is not law. Two different things. If it's not spelled the same, it is not the same thing. Please stop with your stupidity. It's making my brain hurt. I'm sorry you don't want to uphold law. That's... I, sorry. You have to. <laughs> Hello. 
Yeah, what did I do? What was the hold? I would like all this information relayed to me instead of the officers. Thank you. Duly noted and stated. I have had enough of this guy's arrogant stupidity. It's time for him to be hauled away in handcuffs. Please make that happen. Bottom line is Matthew. I, I'm listening. Being, we're being, we're being, we're trying to work with you, but we're. we're trying I'm to trying to be respectful, okay? but you're and not understanding law. Okay. Well, here's the thing. I'm telling you about the law right now. Well, let's you, hear you the know law. certain things. I'm telling you the law is private businesses, whether it was a Chase Bank or if I'm at private property like your house and I'm not wanting to leave. Two different things. Say, here's the thing. It's still private property. They don't want you here. It's incorrect. You're now being asked to leave. It's unlawful. Okay. okay. I so, want an. I demand notice okay. on remedy of why they took my money. Your That'll money, be a your money is in the bank. It's not going anymore. They're not taking your money. It's still there. It's still in the account. Yep. There's a whole no, it's gone. It says zero. No, you can address this another day. Today's not the day. What do you mean? I, okay. I don't lawfully, I'm not lawfully allowed to address this on any day that I choose. You can't do that, you moron, because banks aren't open 24-7, and there are holidays that banks are closed on. You lead paint-drinking moron. If you're not trespassing here, you have the opportunity to leave. Incorrect. If you do not leave, you're going to force our hand to rescue you. What crime have I committed? Did you guys hear that? What crime have I committed? You, you, may, you may leave. Go. Go. I may, but I do not have to. Notice his no, words. No, actually, you do have to leave. Nope. You have to leave. What crime have I committed? Right now, you're committing trespass. You've been told you cannot be at this business. You're what crime you know, you know have I committed? Here, so what crime? Just told you five times. What crime under law have I committed? We, we got other people who are here trying to do And they're doing their okay? thing. Am you're, I you're, impeding them at yes, all? Yes, nope. you are. You're making it uncomfortable for people. You're being asked very politely. We've been very kind with you. Uncomfortable. Explaining. The bottom line is it's private property. You're disrupting the business. You got to go. Simple as that. Okay. Incorrect. Under law, I do not. Under law, you are trespassed and now you're refusing to leave. Now, under law, you are about to be arrested and taken to jail. So enjoy your ride of shame. Let's go. I would like to know why they took my money. That is a crime. That is a crime that you guys have to lawfully uphold. Do you understand that? No, you don't. But we will educate. It's okay. okay. That's why I'm here. I'm going to ask you. I'm going to ask you again. You can Matthew, keep asking all you want. Will you please leave? Nope. Go ahead, put your home down. Put your hands on your back. Am I under arrest? Yes, you are. Under arrest. For what? You know, you rarely ever encounter anybody this blatantly stupid. Well, here's what I'm going to do special for him. I'm going to lead out of this video with a clip that I rarely ever use to express my absolute disdain for this idiot. It is a clip from Drawn Together, Season 2, Episode 3, Little Orphan Hero. You really earned this one, dude. You are so lame! I'm not lame! Yes! Yes, you are! Please, Mom, please don't do that! Don't be mean to me! I'm not being mean to you! You're just too lame to see it! You don't know what I can do or what I'm gonna do or you don't know! You don't know what I'm gonna be! You don't know how good I am! Somebody, and don't tell me I'm not. 